It is the, the if you're catching this on the YouTube, we are sitting here the night before the election. And you wonderful people in the future, you know how it turned out. If you're even in the, if there are even in, people in the future at this point. You know, we I might be talking to no one. That's entirely possible. And that's the funny part. Like, this is going to go up on YouTube on Sunday, and who knows what will have happened in between now and then. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's going to get wild. Not in a fun way. This this is not cool. I'm hating every minute of it. I said that, I said on Twitter, this is like reverse Christmas. Yeah. Like, you're waiting up all night because you can't sleep because tomorrow you're waiting to see if Santa shines down the chimney. Oh, you like my sweater? Yes. It is a Captain America sweater. Huh? I don't know good. if you can see the stripes. There yeah. they are. I have two versions of this. I have the Infinity War version where the star is blacked out. Hmm. And I have this version. Well, hello We're there, gonna, little bud. We're going to make Steve Rogers proud again. Hello, little bud. Oh, I hope. Here he is. Yes, we, 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 we've got some advanced technology this week. <gasps> Just in preparation for... I thought th this... this uh, this election needed something specific, and here it is. A lot of time, a lot of research, a lot of work presenting the Grady Cam 2000. Just what the well, internet needs in these trying times. Well, I had a good run, you guys. It's been great being your co-host. Mm -hmm. uh, I've enjoyed our time together. Oh, big stretches. Look at it. But I can't compete with that. He's, he's, oh, he's so, so big. He's so long. As a fluffy belly. Look at the fluffy belly. Oh, look at him. Hello. He's a great big fluffy. I'm a star. <laughs> I'm the reason you're all here, you dumb humans. Ha 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 ha. No, it's, oh. it's, we don't know. We, I, I, I'm not going to say you should go out and vote. Don't care who you vote for. No, no, you should go vote, vote for Fulala. Aiden, what are you, what's wrong yeah, with you? you should, and Fulala. YouTube comments. Yeah, no, right? Yeah, you should vote for Biden. Like, yeah, every time I fall, every time I find out someone who voted for Trump or who will vote for Trump follows me on social media, I'm like, where did I go don't, wrong? Yeah, don't you feel like you fucked somehow? I know. I'm like, no. Like, what did I do that would give you the impression that that would be okay? Because I would like to stop doing that immediately. Yeah, right. I like this show better before Tara was a feminist. What the fool have you been watching? I know, right? Nine beats. All right. Maybe we'll get lucky and like, it'll be like the end of Rocky Horror Picture Show and the police from Donald Trump's home planet will come to apprehend him. <laughs> <laughs> and just take him away. Uh, oh, we can dream. All right. With that in mind, we are still going to do the nonsense because, well, what else are we going to do? Spoiler alert, right? yes. What? Someone's going to yell at me for spoiling Rocky Horror Picture Show. <laughs> and they are children. Yeah, but children. Now. I got yelled at for spoiling Twin Peaks and not the new season. The 27 year old season. Someone on Twitter yelled at me for spoiling it. And I was like, dude, you've had time. Right, here we go. Intro. Intro, intro, intro. Each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong With You? Um, we're going to start off, what are we going to start off with this week? Oh, yeah. Um, let's start off with something nice ish. Like, one of the things about the show and the stories we cover is quite often we experience those moments in life that can indeed happen. Like, all of a sudden, you're minding your own business and there's a naked teenager covered in salad dressing crashing a car. That happened. Little that, glitches in the Matrix. I, you call them glitches in the Matrix. That's just life. That's, that's just how things happen. Well. Chaos theory, if you will. This is kind of one of those, but not terrible. Like, it's it, fucking wild. Um, okay. And I, I really, I want to, uh, Nishan Degnarain, I think that's, I think I said his name right. Um, shame on you for this headline. Um, 
whale tail saves train. That's a different thing. That's yeah. that's a different that's a different thing. I you mean, it funny? is this thing. Some of our audience might be too young to know what a whale tail is. Yeah, because super low rise jeans haven't been in style for like fifteen years. Wow. All right. Um, incredible footage emerged last night from Dutch news uh, from Dutch news site of a sculpture of a whale's tail saving a runaway train from plunging down 10 meters into a cycle lane below. According to news site, the accident occurred just after midnight in a suburb of Rotterdam when a train ran through stop buffers at the end of the line. The presence of the metal whale tail sculpture sculpture saved the train from sudden doom. Holy shit. We need Spider-Man anyway. Like, fuck. That was that, that was one in a goddamn million. Like, fuck me. And that's like, I get, was it parking for the night? Because, like, that's the end of the track. There. Yeah, it, it might have probably the, a brake malfunction, something like that. Just, this is the Michael Bay version of Free Willy. <laughs> no, it's, it's just, it, the, the, the circumstances that had to align to make this happen just this way. This is just... It's stunning to me. This is the new whale ad campaign. Like, we save you. <laughs> Could you please stop fucking the ocean? Thanks. I'm just... I Whales. I'm pretty sure everybody. I mean, there's, you see the picture of the the uh, the workers down there. Like, what the fuck, man? Yeah. Like, okay, I'm glad it didn't crash, but what the fuck do we do now? Yeah. What do we? How do we fix that? What? 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 Are, what's the procedure from extracting a commuter train from a? I mean, the bottom of that train car is fucked. You can see. Oh yeah, it's it's hosed. It's done. I just. That's going to be a hipster restaurant this time next year. <laughs> and, it, and shit's where you going? Nowhere. Like <laughs> that. It, I mean, th this kind of like one of these. This I don't. You've never played Fallout, but if you're like played Fallout Three and Fallout Four and all that stuff, you walk through the wasteland and you see these weird tableaus of things that happened at the end of the world and how the how the. This is kind of like that. You walk by and you wonder what the fuck happened here. What's the story there? It's it, it amazes me that everything just came together like fucking Voltron. <laughs> I mean, that might be. Oh, wait, that's Transformers. <laughs> It doesn't matter, Tara. No one's talking to you. No, I was going to make entirely the wrong joke and be like, that might be a Voltron, but that wouldn't even work because they don't turn into robots, do they? They turn into robot. Well, they turn into lions. They're robot oh. lions that turn into the legs. That's what they do. Arm. They turn into legs and arms. I miss the whole genre of robots don't, that turn into other things. Don't, cartoons. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Y your life will be will, will go on uninterrupted. I promise. I was really into the Smurfs. The entire comment section is now full of Gundam fans just screeching. I love it. Oh, yeah. Um, Next up, this one. Tara hasn't seen anything. God. We have this tendency when it comes to someone who has a uh, <clears throat> a degree or a title. We, we imbue them with a sense of authority just based on the title. Like, they must be Until smart. Until they say a thing we don't like, and then we decide they're a moron. May I present my PhD husband who's on Twitter? <laughs> well, okay, your PhD husband, I doubt, would do this, because every once in a while, you get that one dude, you're like, what, really? This is, this is a wild one. Indian doctor duped into buying Aladdin's lamp for $41,600. This is a wild story. 
Two men have been arrested in the magic beans. <laughs> Two men have been arrested in India for allegedly duping a doctor into buying Aladdin's lamp that they promised would bring him wealth and health. As part of the con, they even pretended to conjure up spirits from the lamp in line with the tale from the Arabian Nights. The men had reportedly wanted more than 200000 for the lamp, but settled for a down payment of 41600 The doctor reportedly filed a complaint with the local police. Yeah, excuse me, officer. I have purchased this magic item. Clearly. You can see how, how magical it is. Look at that. You can see, it's clearly a magic item. I, I believe it, it's non-functional. I was not informed of this when I made the purchase. And they got cash, so I, I would like to return this and, and, and be... I'm very cross. Very cross. Um, in the complaint, uh... He met with two men and began treating a woman who he understood to be their mother. Uh, gradually, they started telling him about a godman who they claimed also visited their home. Um, they started brain brainwashing me and asked me to meet him. They did meet him, who seemed to perform rituals. He also reportedly said that during one visit, Aladdin actually made an appearance in front of me. I only know the Disney movie. Is Aladdin a god? No. He's just a dude who made wishes, right? He's just a fictional dude. So why would he appear to you? He does not exist. He never existed. He exists in the hearts and minds of children everywhere. It just... <laughs> only later he realized it was one of the accused that had been dressed up as the iconic figure. You didn't recognize a dude you had known for a month? What the living fuck? Like, listen, it's 2020. Who the fuck doesn't want a magic lamp? I know, but... But you have to be more discerning when buying your magic items. There were goddamn drugs involved. I pro I there had to be. There you had to be. You can buy your be. magic items off any Tom, Dick, or Harry that comes your way. How? You gotta check their Yelp reviews. <laughs> Lady Munchow, you ain't never had some drugs like these. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it... It's... Aladdin doesn't come out of the lamp. No, Aladdin that's not. Doesn't, he's not in there. That's not how it goes. You don't even know the story. You tell, you're getting the, the, the details wrong. You call yourself an Aladdin fan? Name like, three you'd wishes. Some, you'd expect some dumbass American to fall for that shit because we're <laughs> stupid. <laughs> yeah, right. You know, I mean, this guy is a doctor and an Indian doctor. They they do not fuck around, man. Yeah. If it's an Indian, people, it's, it's Indian doctor. God damn, they know their shit. How did this fucking... What is he a doctor of? I don't... I don't under... This... Not mythology. Um... They have... The men have been, two men have been arrested. The woman is on the run. What are they going to charge them with? Make believe? How I mean, is it? That, that's the hard part about if you con somebody. Like the whole point of conning somebody is to get them to give you their money voluntarily. Yeah, but normally because well, then technically no crime has been committed. <laughs> Will said, so. "Doc Ali, stupid is he, Ali Ababwa." <laughs> I mean, the laws might be different in India. That's American law. But it, it's okay. Who knows it, what the laws for? How is it fraud? How is it fraud if you were promised? Magic. How, how is that fraud? Well, if you promise someone magic and the item isn't magic, that is fraud. If you cause them to believe the item is magic and it's not. Can I interest you in some miracle spring water, Tara? Which, like, <laughs> the entire 
American cosmetics industry should be dismantled at that point because I've sold some shit that's like, this will make you look 20 years younger in a week. And I'm like, it won't, though. Low key, it fucking won't. I just... just wear sunblock. <laughs> How in the fucking world are you? Well, he's a, he was apparently treating their mother, so he's a medical doctor. Yeah. What the hell? And did you not? Did it not occur to you to ask why you weren't using this magical item to cure your mother? Like, if your mother is sick and you have a magical item that will guarantee her health, why are you selling it? Hmm. Drugs. Drugs are involved. That'd be my question. I'd be like, why aren't you? Heal your mother, dumb <sighs> shit. What am I here for? That's your first clue. Well, next up, we have. Uh, we, I, I cannot even fathom dining out in in now, but apparently some people. We've oh. gone like twice to places with outdoor dining, and even then, I was like nervous the whole okay. time. Okay, all right, all right. I, I I stand corrected. This this event happened in March, so this is before the before time, the 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 past, the misty. Yeah. Ah, uh, those were the days. It just. Breathing on strangers times. It was it was great. You could just breathe on people. We had movies. Cool. All right. I miss the movies. So Dine and Dash is always bullshit. Okay. I, I and not just because, you know, it's 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 you're a dick. It's everyone who works there. If you run out on a tab, somebody's they take paying their money for out of the, the server has to pay your tab. Even though it's not their fault in any way, shape, or form, what were they supposed yeah. to fucking do? Tackle your ass? But yeah, it, you're a dick because it, people are responsible for it. This is probably the worst attempt at a dine and dash, and you fucking deserve this, you idiot. No sympathy. None. Woman attempting dine and dash from a British Columbia restaurant falls through the ceiling in a botched escape. Let's let's take a look here. Uh, here we go. And uh, boom! <laughs> no sympathy. Here we go again. Here, 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 is, is again. Is it? It. Kaboom! A woman attempting to elaborately dine and dash from a Burnaby restaurant found herself in an embarrassing situation. Newly rele released video by Burnaby Royal Canadian Mounted Police taken in March shows the woman attempting to leave without paying her bill by crawling into the ceiling vent in the woman's washroom. So she's going all John McClane on this shit. You know, come out the coast, a few laughs. Yes. <laughs> um, police said the manager of the unnamed restaurant called them and when officers arrived, they went to the kitchen as the woman could be heard crawling above the ceiling tiles there. She didn't make much further and fell through the ceiling right into the path of the officer who then arrested her. It... Like, for one thing, what, you thought you were going to be ninja stealth on this one? It's not like it is in the movies, guys. They can hear you and ceilings often are not made to bear that kind of weight. No, drop ceilings are just there for looks, mainly. Yeah. They're there also, to... if you shoot a car in the fender, it will not explode. <laughs> drop ceilings These are bullshit. Drop ceilings are just there to keep you from seeing the real ceiling and all the air ducts and the wiring for the lights. Drop ceilings are not real ceilings. They're they're they're. No. It's just a layer of tile. Yeah. It's not going to hold you. And also, if you thought you could go up there and like tippy toe your way out. They fucking like, I wonder where she is. Where the yeah. hell could she be? Bang, 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 bang. It's not subtle. I can hear my 12 pound cats stampeding around the upstairs of my house. <laughs> and they're not inside the ceiling. They're just atop of it. And it sounds like a herd of fucking elephants. And where, here's the other thing. Where was she going to go? What, what, was she expecting to find a hatch, an exit? 
Yeah, because that's going to be screwed on. It's not like fucking Star Trek and the Jeffries tubes and shit, lady. Yeah. M- movies are bullshit. Movies are bullshit. TV, it's all bullshit. There's no way out of that that area. Yeah. There, 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 if there was, people could get in. And since people don't get in that way, there's no way out. There's not stairs leading to the ceiling or leading to the roof in the drop ceiling. This was just a terrible plan. Maybe you just shouldn't eat out if you have to go to these lengths to afford your bill. Right? Like, did, was the, Maybe was, you should just make some fucking Easy Mac at home. Dine hard. Oh, Will, that's terrible. That's terrible. <laughs> like, just make some fucking ramen. Right. It's not fun, but we've all had to do it. I, what did you used to live on in the army? Mac and cheese with no milk and butter mixed with tuna fish? Yeah. You do that shit for 50 cents. Not good. No. But, I but mean, he wasn't crawling through fucking air ducts at the Waffle House. D- d- what? What in the living? Is this is your plan when you went out that mo- that evening. It's like I want some steak and some lobster and to crawl in the fucking ceiling. What the fuck? If this was your plan, you should have planned. <laughs> it was terrible. You fucking idiot. Speaking of fucking idiot, hey Florida, which yet again could be the hinging point for our entire election. All our hopes and prayers could indeed rest with this state. And what a state it is. Woman blames six-year-old after gun found hidden outside Disney. Georgia woman captured on video hiding purse with gun in plants. Georgia woman accused of attempting to hide a loaded firearm in some plants outside Disney World theme park told deputies her six-year-old was actually the one who put it there. October Why 8th. were you trying to bring a gun into Disney? <laughs> the October 8th incident happened when an Advent health worker checking temperatures before guests entered Magic Kingdom. Already, no. Already, right, like, just. Why are you going to Disney right now? Um, <laughs> notified security after seeing a woman take something from a stroller and place it behind some plants near the tents before the security <laughs> checkpoint. The woman then proceeded to walk the metal detector into the park. Security alerted an Orange County Sheriff's deputy, looked inside the purse near the planter, and immediately recognized the butt of a firearm. At that point, the woman, identified in Marcia Temple, approached the deputy and said, Ma'am, that's mine. Now, that's another... All right, if you're, you're trying to be, you know, criming, you've already failed. Right. You could you hide your illegal contraband and they find it, you don't go up to claim it. Your ass could have vanished into Disney. Vanished. Even with this bullshit going on, you could have just... And just like that, she was gone. But, no. When the deputy asked why Temple had a firearm at Disney, she told the deputy, quote, I had told my son to hold it for me and stand right here while I go get my brother. He put it down, messed with the plants, and I put them back. But I didn't know he put it down. I didn't know he left it over here. Temple, please. So you told your six-year-old to hold your gun for you? Except Temple placing the purse in the plants was captured on security camera. So she lied on her son. When asked why she would give a gun to her six-year-old, Temple said... A reasonable question. She asked him to hold it so she could go get her brother. Deputies say the firearm was a loaded 9mm. The firearm has 10 bullets, including one in the chamber. Temple does not have a concealed weapons permit for Florida or Georgia. Why were you trying to bring a gun into Disney World? Why? And like, Did she think she would get up there and saw the... When she was going up, she's like, this is going to be fine. Oh, gosh, this- I forgot that was in there. And they'd be like, that's okay. Go ahead. No. no, you know what? She didn't realize that Disney would have metal detectors. That, which astonishes me. But she's like, she got up there. She saw the metal detectors. And she was like, whoop. And tried it. But no. Who in the year of our Lord 2020 doesn't understand that Disney is a more secure compound than 
anything in an Indiana Jones movie. Well, I'd say, you know, Disney's more like a Petri dish right now. We, we're not going to get any right, reliable numbers on that. You can't fucking... You can't breach their fucking perimeter, man. Oh, like, Christ. Just try to film in Disney. Try to yeah. shoot a... Try, try to, to do anything. They'll be all up your ass. They have tighter security than the goddamn Vatican. They do. They did not come to play. But why? And again, what? Why? The, why? Why did you feel you needed a gun in Disney? Like we all joke about going into the "It's a Small Wheel World" ride and using it for target practice. You can't right. actually do that. But oh my god, it'd be glorious. They should, give you like a, they should give you like a paintball gun and a scorecard. But you can't really do that. Oh, but it really shoot other people for being honest. And that's why we don't take you out in public. <laughs> um, where's the this is the wrong one. That's the wrong story. Where are you, correct? Here it is. Um, next up. Uh, ah, uh, we all hate the cable companies. We all hate them. Um, we hate Comcast. We hate Spectrum. I even have Wow Internet, and they're not bad considering, but they're not great either. We switched to YouTube for our cable. No, we switched to CenturyLink. No, but for our cable, Central. for our TV. Oh. No, cable is the, no. Your cable provider it's... is CenturyLink. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's still got to get into your house somehow. He does those things. <laughs> I just yell at them when they don't work. We all hate them. We all don't, especially in America, because we have no competition whatsoever. It's all ol oligarchies. Oligarchies, not garpies. That's nothing. <laughs> um, we all have revenge fantasies, I'm sure. Especially like, remember those months when we were trying to do the show and the fuck, they fucked up our cable and we couldn't yeah. get a decent goddamn upstream and you have fantasies. They should stay fantasies. Unhappy Spectrum customer takes refund with Crowbar. An unhappy customer who disliked the company's refund policy smashed a cash register with a Crowbar and took some money. <gasps> Deanna Sarity. Deanna Sarity, 34, of Deltona, unsatisfied with Spectrum service, entered the location at around 12.30 and demanded her money back. Why did that guy step out of her way? Because she had a crowbar. Because <laughs> she had a crowbar. He didn't even try. He wasn't even like, now, ma'am, please don't take it. Um, <laughs> hit a register with a crowbar, yelled at employees, and took some money. Sarity then got into her van and left and went to her home, which was surrounded by deputies who made contact with her by telephone. She came out of her home and was arrested. She's facing an armed robbery charge because she was armed with a crowbar. Now, I want this is the best mugshot for this week. This just look at her. Yeah, she looks awfully pleased with herself. I'm <laughs> doing it again. <laughs> Can you also talk about the, the amount of unnecessary letters in her name? I know. D Deanna. It's spelled D-I-A-H-I-A-N-N-A. -N -N -A. Wow. That's a lot of letters you did not need for <laughs> Deanna. That, that is the face he of... He isn't paid enough. You know what? That's a good point. He is not paid enough to take no. on a lady with a crowbar. That is true. That is the face of recidivism right there. Yeah. That, she's like... You can see the little thought bubble, and I'd do it again. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, yep. Uh, okay. But, like, she wasn't even trying to hide it. She marched in there, broad daylight, and started busting registers open. Like, do you think that's okay? Well, you know, at a certain point, I you know, if this wasn't a cable company, I would agree with you. But at a certain point, these motherfuckers, it's, it's, they fray at your sanity. Yeah, but it's still a felony. It is? But I'll tell you, Terry. Even if it's a felony that feels good, <laughs> it's still a felony. Tara, when like, I was having... Would we all love to punch Lindsey Graham in his fat face? We would. But that would be a felony. When I was having problems with my cable here, and I called for service, they kept saying they'd come, and they didn't show up, and they missed appointments, and they'd be... One day, they promised and swore they would be here. 
my ass got a rocking chair, took it out to the front yard, fully charged cell phone. Please don't say shotgun. Big gulp. No, no shotgun. Because you're in South Carolina, so a rocking chair on the front porch has connotations. Not the front porch, front yard. Okay. I sat there three hours waiting for that motherfucker. Just, just staring. And then did they call and say you weren't home? I was doing it specifically so they couldn't do that shit. Because they tried that shit before, and I'm like, nope, I'm right fucking here, motherfucker. It worked, too. So they, they put, they stress you so far. I, 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 I. Yeah. They had it but, coming. But still a <laughs> felony, though. Still a felony, yes. Even the, if they deserve the felony. The cool crime. The cool crime. I have crimes. to explain this to him like once a week. Even killing <laughs> bad people is wrong. The cool it's crimes still are still crimes. Yes. Yes. But I mean, it. Yeah, this was I, the crowbar was was the 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 that was your mistake. Well, I mean, there were other mistakes, but the crowbar was probably the big one. Yeah. Because you also, can kill someone with that, so that's then a deadly weapon. I also and that like really pushes okay. things up. In order to get a refund, she had to tell them her name, her account number, her address, all of these things. And they then your she, social security number. Like, did she think the cops were just not good? Like, she comes home and they're like, they're all there. Yeah. You made it simple. They all showed up. So I'm saying she marched in in broad daylight and made no attempt to be stealthy. That is that is some fucking brass ones. Oh, you want to talk about some brass ones? This is Florida, and this is amazing. No, because because everyone involved, everyone, everyone involved in this completely well, failed. I, I have I summoned. It's amazing. Tampa man gets seven years for pretending to be a CIA operative in $4 million scheme. Now, you'd think someone going, I work for the CIA, they're, they're on the fast track for jail. No, no, no. Four years. Garrison Courtney... Well, not a real jail. ...had convinced people he was not just a federal public affairs officer, but in fact a covert CIA operative working on a classified task force. The fraud was so compelling that even when it began to unravel, the people he duped stonewalled federal investigators convinced that talking about Courtney would betray his secret program. Somebody watched way too much of the blacklist. <laughs> scheme finally collapsed Friday when he was sentenced to seven years in prison for a years long scheme that netted more than four million from companies and contractors who thought they were doing their patriotic duty by supporting him. Wait, how does this make you money? Courtney would approach private companies and tell them he was a covert CIA operative and they needed to add him to his payroll to provide off the books funding for classified task force. He promised the company they'd be reimbursed. In all, he raked in more than 4.4 million in the scheme. He kept going. He kept more than 1 million and used the other funds to pay the companies. So he was doing a Ponzi scheme. That's not how that works. No, but he was pulling it off. He was the government one, doesn't walk in to no, fucking Best Buy no, and be don't. like, hey, they don't. We're out of money. You need to front us. That's not, what, that's not how that works. Who falls for that? Numerous public officials were drawn into the scheme to lend it credibility, including high ranking DEA administration and military she? officials. Court papers indicate Courtney even sought to persuade top intelligence official in the Air Force of legitimacy of his program in a 2016 meeting. Ultimately, he didn't get away with it. Um, he did pull in more than four million. Prosecutors say he was on the verge of reeling in four billion with a B dollars in funding. Not only that, so many people in the intelligence communities were duped into believing the program was real. That he nearly obtained what is known as a class guide that would have effectively immune, immunized him from prosecution. Everyone failed. Everyone. 
The, and this is this is the beautiful part. Prosecutors say he used the name Devin Azamoria to reach out to former C employer and say that Courtney was legitimate but burned asset disavowed by the CIA. He pulled a Bobby Singer. He pulled That's a fuck. He pulled a fucking Bobby Singer. So FBI really will is speaking. What? Yeah, that's He's what I'm gonna saying. He's going to have a job when he gets out. Not real prison. <laughs> not not legal prison. He's going to disappear to somewhere offshore and then end up really on CIA payroll, but with a different face. Yeah. And some trauma. Everyone failed. That's like, does the DEA not run background checks? I don't you know. You can just walk up to a DEA agent and be like, hey. I'm in a top secret CIA program and I need your wallet. And they'll be like, oh, well, hey. Mm -hmm. Tara, there's a cherry on top. There's a cherry on top. Before Courtney worked the DEA, he served as spokesman for Florida Republican Congresswoman Catherine Harris. <laughs> I just, he, this motherfucker. I don't understand how people vote for this. Like, doesn't this just doesn't this just feed the little fox molder that lives at the back of your brain that tells you that it's all held together with like chewing gum and toothpicks and nothing <laughs> is really working? <laughs> because at no point did somebody like think to pull up this guy's fucking file it, it just, he... and find that there wasn't one. He just, my God, this is amazing. Everyone failed. So the first thing we learned this we were like, vote tomorrow, it matters. First thing we learned tonight is that the entire intelligence apparatus based around Florida are imbeciles. Everyone. Everyone's that you could you can con companies you can con the intelligence agency he pulled a bobby singer for fuck's sake no yeah he's a he's a good guy he's a good man if that agent says he needs to dig oh, up a body right. then by god let him dig up a body simba hello do we need to send an email simba has decided that dan's not working this is a daily fight that Dan has. Simba Simba has decided he's going to be a psychologist. And uh you're, you're sitting on a very important spreadsheet, buddy. Yep. Uh, are, you, are you sniffing at the whiskey? No, 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 no whiskey for Kitty. He dumped his tail in Dan's whiskey the other night and then spent like half an hour cleaning his tail. <laughs> I'm telling you, this cat is my reincarnated father. <laughs> I am a little more sure of it every day. Um, we learned that uh, even even the even the cool crimes still crimes. Still crimes. Um, we've learned that there are many places you might attempt to smuggle in a weapon, but Disney's it, Disney will fuck you up. Don't 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 you take no you gun. You probably have better luck getting a weapon into a fucking airport than Disney World. You could probably apparently you can probably get it into the DEA in Florida. Um, we've learned that if you're Disney World has better security than the fucking <laughs> intelligence apparatus in Florida. <laughs> That's where we're at as a society. Um, we've learned that if you're gonna dine and dash, if you're planning to dine and dash, well, don't. But the drop ceiling, not an escape. Never an escape. Not a great plan. TV yeah. lies. Never fucking escape. Um, we learn when someone is offering to sell you the relics of fictional people. Maybe not. Yeah. Like th there's no refunds on magic. <laughs> it's not in the law. There's PayPal doesn't have a. Here's what happens if your magic item doesn't work. No, 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 no. That's no. only on Bitcoin. That's. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and finally, we learned that sometimes these weird confluences can actually do good things. Just I, that picture that that's going to stick with me, man. The, yeah. the fucking whale tail. Like they, by the grace of whale. You know, maybe all right, I'm going to I'm going to try and 
maybe things are going to be okay. If, the, if this could happen, if this weird bullshit can come maybe together. We're gonna, maybe we're going to pull through. Maybe. Maybe. And if this is on Sunday and we have President Trump, we're going to look like a fucking idiot.